Good evening to everyone. I'm uh, Laura Cavalli. Thanks for the introduction. I'm an economist uh, and I'm a senior researcher at, at Fondazioni Eni Enrico Mattei uh, based in Milan. At the same time, I'm manager of uh, SDSN Italia. I work on sustainable issues, uh, especially because uh, I have a daughter and a husband, and I probably, you know what I mean. And, but above all, I'm here to present these uh, beautiful and interesting solutions, <coughs> which is logistic of the future in sustainable smart port. So this is an example of how partnership can really help catalyzing uh, the localization of the SDGs, of the Agenda 2030. So before starting, uh, let's do a little step back. So keep in mind the first keyword I really would like you to bring home, localization. So yes, yeah, scaling down we know that is a really difficult task and it's really difficult trying to understand what we should do to reach this sustainability. Last year in Fondazione Eni we developed a quite <coughs> successful tool so-called SDSN Italia SDG City Index. It was meant to be a tool for policymakers. We really would like them to understand the state of the art of sustainability in their area, actually in their city. Then we create this great tool, wow, fantastic. But we localize it, really? Did we do? Are we sure about that? So now, I was struggling about a really, really hard topic, which is, um, we live in Italy, a really heterogeneous country from the social, economic, and demographic perspective. So probably was not enough. <coughs> At the same time I was uh, struggling on this problem, I received a call from um, a colleague of mine, the head of sustainability and corporate responsibility at Ericsson. Uh, she read the report, and at the same time she was struggling about the same issues. And Exactly in that moment, she was working together with the Vorno Port Authority, with uh, Telecom Italia Mobile, and the Consortium of Inter-University for Telecommunication uh, on an innovative framework uh, to assist cargo port uh, handling their upcoming and future capacity. So actually, these two things are connected. Localization means developing frameworks to work with. So we started reasoning together. But you all know that things are complex, and this is the second key word I really would like you to remember. That's why we start reasoning together on one single aim, <coughs> one goal, localize. Complex because we were five, five different shareholders, uh, non-profit international research center, public authority, private company. And there was really complexity in, in the way we would like and we used to solve problem. Complexity <laughs> because the issue we wanted to disentangle. Of course, the Agenda 2030 is complex itself. Here are some numbers. You know that 169 are the targets of the Agenda 2030. And we had to match this target with the 38 activities of the harbor process uh, for the port city sustainability. Other numbers, 74% of goods entering or leaving Europe go by sea. 1.5 million workers are employed in European ports. And 147 million tons of CO2 equivalent is the impact, is the impact of a maritime transportation in European Union in 2018, so last year. Complexity because of the 65 5G benefits identified for the port area related to the 2030 agenda. Also able to help cities and the communities to reach uh, the sustainable development and have a potential impact of 50% of saving in CO2 emission. Was there a way to lighten this complexity? Yes, working together. So sharing ideas, sharing doubts, uh, solutions, help us really to overcome the existing obstacles. So the twist and turn of the project uh, occurred at the time when we all make our knowledge available to the others. So the joint effort had another really interesting advantage. So our initial hypothesis we had with brainstorming, uh, while concern we had that were confirmed by the results. But what did we obtain at the end of the journey? So we developed a model with a set of innovative KPIs for the port, which considered the digital transformation enabled by the 5G as the main driver, the main lever for both the port performance and valuation and to pursue sustainable development. We did that by scaling down the Agenda 2030. 
linking its content with a strategic decision to promote the sustainability within the port city area. We therefore provided a deep analysis of the enabling power of the 5G technologies in order to evolve port process in the direction of international agenda. And finally, we applied a model to the Livorno port, thanks to the data we had, highlighting the 5G positive impacts for four main SDGs. SDG 8, competitiveness and more safety for workers. SDG 11, sustainable growth for the port city. SDG 12, responsible business in logistics. And SDG 13, so estimated environmental impact was equal to 8.2%. Saving of CO2. It means almost 148,000 kilos of CO2. Oh, what's that? <laughs> That's not only for the birthday, first birthday of the Agenda 2030, that is exactly today, but it's just to remind us that this saving CO2 emission means exactly, not more or less, 37,747,538 party balloons full of CO2. That's a quite huge number, isn't it? So, let me add another key point. The relevance not only to consider the Agenda 2030 made only of environmental, social, and economic side, which is a unicorn to be considered, but also to ensure a strong institutional commitment, as well as steady public endorsement. As a researcher, we develop models, but they must be useful at policy level and publicly recognized for population. Let me be more clear. Put yourself for a moment in the shoes of the Livorno port. So this was the initial issue. Should the port invest in new technology? It firmly believed that a model was needed. The public-private research we did discussed and developed the framework with a subsequent application of the model. And we offered the port authority the tool for developing a plan and make a final decision about a possible investment, a responsible investment. That's the last key word I want to stress. So, Agenda 2030, local priorities, innovation, technologies, environmental, social, economic issue, responsible investment, these are all key words to bring home. As Papa Francesco said, we still have the possibility and the ability to solve the problems of our times, and this by working together for our common home. Our solutions need to be at pretty good uptime to welcome the challenge. Thank you. <laughs>